Hi everyone, this is Megan, and I wanted to come today to do a video regarding UT, or the Ultra Thick Embossing Powder. And I've had quite a few people ask me if, I can, if they can use UT with my molds. And I've actually never tried, I actually got the melting pot specifically for this. So, um, like the scrapbookers that, that don't do resin, whether they can make embellishments with the mold. So, I have two of my molds here. The candy and the rose that just came out. Um, I've got some hot UT that I actually put some white of my ink in that it didn't like it, so it's kind of yucky there, but I'm going to um, put some mica powder in. Actually, it's brand new. So let me grab a little scooper here. That should be plenty. And this is antique copper. Uh, it's Pearl X. So I'm first going to get this a little. Okay, let me grab the... Okay, that the new um, melting pot included this silicone spatula. So I'm just going to get this all mixed in. It's really hot. It's over 300 degrees in this pan, so... I probably should have had my Teflon mat, but you can still see the little white particles from the ink, but okay, I think we got this mixed up. Okay, let's start. This is the rose mold, and I've never poured from this, so hopefully I do this okay. I'm just going to set it down here, and try to slowly put this in the mold. My mold is a little uneven, so let me grab something. So you guys can see, I'll do this one. It's hard to do with the camera, like, smack down in front of you. Let me finish filling up this one. And I over poured. This one should be a bit easier. And pouring, pouring, pouring. It's, um, it is when it hits the mold, it's kind of splattering a little, but that's probably to be expected. Let me find another mold. Um, here's some molds that I'm working on. I'll just the hairbrush mold. Mm. 
And one more. Okay. And I'm going to turn off the melting pot so that What's nice about the melting pot is that um, the UT that's in there will like recongeal. And you can just pop it out and save it for later. Or, um, remelt it again. So. Okay. Now it's just a waiting game to see how long they take to re. They didn't melt through. Oh. You can see. They're still quite hot. I didn't pour enough in some of them, but you'll get the picture. So anyway, while I'm doing, while they're getting um, cool, so I can show you, I'll show you some of the pendant pieces that I've been working on. Um, and if anybody wants a tutorial on how to make these, let me know. Um, they're just these are glass tiles, but I'm going to be pouring some um, clear ga glass cabochons. So anyway, let me see. They're probably cool enough for me to play with. So here's the flowers. I didn't pour enough in, but we'll see. And there it is. So it popped right out. This one I didn't get enough right there. the candies. All that little white specks is from the ink. They're still quite warm. And lastly, here are the brushes and the mirrors. I think they're hot enough, or they're cool enough. Looks like I didn't mix the um, mica powder all the way because I'm getting it off on my hands a little bit. But they're releasing just fine. And I didn't melt the mold. So. I wanted to show you and now I finally have my answer so I can um, tell the girls that have asked me if they work with UT. So again, and that's ultra thick embossing powder. It's in the scrapbooking um, section at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of those stores. And it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. But um, I just keep the clear and color it myself. So anyway, so here they are.
and next time I will mix my powders better. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and um, I'm actually going to probably put these pieces back in to be remelted and used again. So if you don't like your pour, you just can remelt the um, UT back into the pot and try again. So anyway, I hope that helps someone, and I'll be happy to be able to get back to some people. So. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye. Comment, rate, and subscribe.